Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. I'm back in my um, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous campaign. And uh, we can get another pit trap. Sounds nice. Bless Bane. Penetrating Strike. Sounds nice. Unfriendly creature within range. Knows up to three points of damage reduction for three rounds. Hmm. Sounds good. Let's accept this. Uh, we are now level four. Also, we can recruit more people. Yay. Let's recruit these guys. Let's recruit these guys. And 1,800 for 17 clerics. That's quite good. Let's recruit these guys. Travel to this place. Okay, um, now you get these guys into your army. Mm hmm. Good, 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 quite good. <clears throat> we are now a level five army, yay. So next thing we'll do is the level four demon army down there. But now let's move on in this direction. Okay, we can't escape this random encounter, so let's do it. <laughs> okay. Hello, who's there? No one around? Mm -hmm. Oh, too late. <laughs> okay. Let's kill him. Uh, Wolchif. Yeah, it's a new day. Let's do the armor first. See the um I'm not sure how much we will find and see. Let's run there and keep it if possible. Okay, um Mm-hmm. Then you'll uh you will do the mage armor as well on yourself. Just because you can. So here uh let's move there. I mean it's just one papal. 
at least I don't see any more. Ah, there is another one. Can you storm him? No, of course not. Mm hmm Hey Pig Can you storm him? No, of course not because there is someone in the way, but on the other hand you get there <laughs> You can't hit my my dear pig Uh, yeah, but you don't hit, so it's not really mindful. Okay, not about fast hit. Ah, uh, Philomucus, really? My dear pig. Yay, hit it. <laughs> Yeah, okay. You shouldn't. You should do something else, like healing stuff. Thank you, Len. Long spear, okay. Another long spear. Hey, there's some loot. Note written in neat handwriting. Come to my camp if you want to talk. I have much to share with you, friend. Okay. Inventory. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, there is the note. Drawn on the back of the note is a map with cross lines marking a spot. Okay. Let's see if there is some new thing on the map. <laughs> Inconspicuous camp. Ah, <laughs> this is the thing that we saw probably. Underground hideout. How do we get there? Apple smile. You, do you want to wait? What? This canyon cuts through the ground like an open sore. The uneven stones of its cliff. Yeah, why not? Let's enter it. Looks like uh, looks like a trap. Danger and distress. Rest heavy upon the scales. Their measures soaring on the dangerous march to Dresden. The army moves steadily along the bank of the West Seven. 
scarred with canyons and drablines. Suddenly a group of scouts returns. <laughs> Anivia, the leader of the group, makes two urgent signs to the soldiers. Wait and quiet. He dashes through the ranks to the commander who awaits a report. You're in trouble, she whispers. The road ahead is split by a canyon. To get to Dresden, we'll have to go down and then up the other side, but the canyon is swarming with foul creatures west of the walls. A real pain in the neck. They won't shy away from our soldiers' weapons, and they've already managed to gobble someone up. Looked like a caravan of refugees from Canabras had lost its way. No one has ever reported Vescavor so far from the center of the world wound. Where did they come from? Anivia bites her lip. They still haven't noticed us, but that won't hold true for long. Maybe if we retreat quietly, Commander makes a sign for her to stop. Okay, find out what else is known about the enemy. Convene a council to determine a plan of action. Those nasty little critters, they can ruin your gear and drive you nuts with their buzzing. Anivia says in a rush, they got a queen, the mother of the whole swarm. She's a right horror. But if we kill her, a bulk of the swarm will scatter and we'll take care of Red of the rest of them somehow. After hearing his scout's report, the commander prepares to convene a council to determine a plan. Convene a field council. The army cannot march around the obstacle, for there is no other road. Retreat is far too risky. If the swarm notice the army and catch it out in the open, no one would survive. None utters the word trap, but fear hangs in the air. A swarm of omnivorous beasts just happens to be in the army's path. Someone has arranged this for their own nefarious ends. Rustling, grating, squeaking, humming. Everyone hears the voice of the swarm. Though the sky before the army remains clear for now. How long until it darkened by the fl it is darkened by the flying spawn of the abyss. An idea, a decision, straight and sharp like a soldier's sword, appears in their minds. The Crusader Council grows grim. One unit must act as life bait to lure the swarm out of the canyon and clear the path of the Wesker War Queen. Commander will rush the monster, killing her quickly before the swarm decimates the army. They will get but one chance. Okay. A dark question looms. Who will lead the fateful squad and be consumed as bait? In moments of extreme stress, one often says one thing while meaning quite another. The hidden words often reveal many a curious thing. What do we see here? Irabeth nobly states, I'm an officer best suited for the mission. But in truth she means, I cannot burden another with my responsibility. Snarty about fast, send me. Nura, the historian, emerges with an unexpected suggestion from behind the commander's back. This is just the sort of situation where ingenuity, ingenuity and knowledge of the enemy will be more useful than swords and armor. While she speaks, she thinks, I need to prove myself. The queen has yet to disclose her presence and watches quietly from a distance. Commander thinks that he should look into the faces of your companions. Choose Irabeth, choose Nora. Hmm. Well, we don't want to lose Irabeth because she saved our hide in the Great Council. In a great garrison, not council. What's the great council? 
I know this. This is something else. <laughs> Well, let's choose Nura. Why not? The commander and his party disappear among the rocks, preparing to slip down into the canyon while the swarm is distracted by their bait. A tight-lipped Anivia shows the way. Behind them, the final preparations are being made. Here's what we'll do. Nura instructs the soldiers. We'll approach the precipice stomping and banging our swords against our shields. We'll get the swarm's attention as quickly as possible. Passion burns in her eyes, and her lips curve into a smile of satisfaction. Soldiers tread fearfully down the road toward the dark edge of the canyon ahead. The rift that yawns up open before them whispers, rasps, rattles in thousands upon thousands of voices. Wesker gather below, but the skies open above them, and the flying creatures might rise up and attack at any moment. The soldiers soon find the first body, the mangled corpse of a refugee from Binabret. Few straggling Vescovores wriggle, wriggle inside the dead man's gaping chest. Tiny larvae in greenish shells, all shuffling legs and hinging jaws. They don't seem menacing at all. But then the rasping noise stops for a moment and a high vibrating note pierces the air with new force. A blur of blackish green cloud rises above the canyon. The swarm has taken the bait. The time to act has come. The leader of this fateful squad shouts that they shall fight to the bitter end. Well, scatter, of course. The rasping, mumbling and buzzing of the swarm paralyzes the soldiers' will. Poisonous mandibles cut through armor and bone. The swarm could, score. The swarm could scour an entire city from the face of Galarian. These modest forces present no obstacle. No matter what strategy the mortals choose, it is impossible to resist the eternal hunger of the abyss. Wescavors are its embodiment, no male volant mind or terrible monster, but a million of half-sentient creatures who know no goal but destruction and effective, an effective weapon for those prepared to trade fertile soil for wisdom. A chance yet remains for the commander to save his people at last some portion. What will the leader decide? Well, wait, what? We can just close? <laughs> we can't decide anything. Really? Uh, what do we take in there? Yeah, we'll take Amber because she has a lot of fire magic. And if we have swarms, that's quite, quite effective. Also, we'll take this guy. Anivia. Lots of light and shadow dance along the walls of the canyon. High above your head, swarm gathers dark as a rain cloud. There are so many Wescavores that they block out the sun. Luckily, you've escaped the attention of the swarm, which is focused upon the troops you are using as a bait, for now at least. With a tired gesture, Nivea wipes the sweat and dust from her forehead. She has anxiety, anxiety in her eyes. Commander, the beast we've come for is on the other end of the main corridor. There's a lot of burrows and plenty of beasts in them. 
but you better not delve too deep. Uh, people won't hold out long enough for us to clear the whole area. Okay. On the other hand, I saw the bodies of some poor caravanners down one of the side holes. They have some valuable stuff on them. The bugs will eat anything we don't grab. They can't tell the difference between flesh and steel. Wait, wait. So they are eating all the treasure while we are standing around talking? What are we hanging around for? Come on, here's no, there's no time to lose. Did you manage to find out where these beasts came from? I'm not sure, but there are clear signs of a ritual closer to the queen dogs there. And they're fresh. Maybe somebody summoned the scum specially for us. It even Phil figured out that we are never going to let Canabras go. Too bad we don't have a magic specialist who could figure out what those rooms mean. The scorched, ravaged land is soaked with poison and imbued with the unholy magic of the abyss. This is a terrible sight, but for followers of Gosra, it is something far worse, sacrilege. Can you tell me anything useful about the monster? I've never fought these before, so I don't know much. She's a nasty beast. The spit, she spits acid and summons her spawn from all around the area. Uh, probably. Then you wouldn't be too bad. One more thing. When I tried to get closer, I started feeling sick as a dog. I guess like a lot of demons, she knows how to get inside your head. Okay. Well, great. Huge, hungry, head-spinning, acid-spitting bugs. And I thought the Crusades were all about the pretty armor and the taste regions, sometimes saving beautiful maidens in white dresses from dumb demons. On the last gasp of the sky and the dark blood of the sea, may Gosre help me cleanse this land of its coral. You catch the scent of salty sea air in the breeze, that plays over your face, the wind and the waves. Ah, Gozer is my god. Has heard your prayer. That's nice. Good luck. I'm right behind you, covering your back. <laughs> That's nice. I'll catch up when it's time to deal with the queen. Okay. So this doesn't sound nice. And there is the first swarm. How do I hit the swarm? flat-footed, energy resistance, immunities to poison, critical hits, precision damage, spells with a target, halves physical damage from slashing and piercing weapon. Halves physical damage from slashing and piercing weapons, effects and conditions thrown. Oh my, oh my, oh my. And it has an energy resistance of 10 against fire. Okay, let's try to hit it. Yeah, we can hit it. Okay. Okay, that's that. We can hit it with... with uh, we can hit it with... Why are you there in Why are you overburdened? Oh, you have only a strength of seven. Really? And you're medium. Probably we should give you better armor. 
Ooh, what's that? Breastplate plus two. You can't wear armor, you can't wear... Ah, oh, you can wear armor. No, you can't wear armor. You could wear this armor, but is it not even... Not even heavier than the first one? Yeah, it's even heavier. Yeah, can't do anything about that yet. No. You'll be well behind anyway. Let's load the stop. Okay. Let's pause. This is a royal guard. It's a level 12 outsider. Ugh. Okay. First of all. Run back. And... Move like there. Mm-hmm. You... Do this on the pig. You do this. You have just something to do our heroism. Hmm. A spell imbues a single creature with great bravery and moral in battle. The target gains a plus two moral bonus on attack roll, saves, and skill check. So we hit better. Well, let's give it to dear old um, Len. Len. Nah. Here's this for the queen afterwards. You potion of mage armor? No, don't need that. Let's make yourself invisible. And you... Uh, what's that? Restoration? That's a restoration. Let's take the clean weapon, not the flaming weapon, because they have a... They have a immunity to fire. No, they don't have. He doesn't have immunity to fire. That's nice. Doesn't have immunities to anything. Thing. You. But these got immunities. No res energy resistance to fires and immunities to what more. Okay. Okay. You. Attack this creature. You. Attack this creature. Attack this creature. Attack this creature. How many hit points do you have? 76? That's not too bad.
Ja, hij valt kort te pik. Oké, okay. how about this? Ja, het is een half dead. Let's kill this one first. This will hurt. Mm -hmm. Let's do an ear piercing stream on this one. Immune to ear piercing screen, of course it is. Let's kill it. Hmm. Um, okay, this was wasn't too bad. Okay, we should do some safe game. Okay. Demonic bug slime poisonous not only to everything alive, but also to the land itself. And we gained experience. Yay! That's interesting. Is there some weed down there? Did we miss the, some, some spot? I mean, we could. Yeah, we missed this spot. Stop it. Not a swarm. I will see to your demise. Mm -hmm. Distract them for me. Greedy didn't hit them. Mm hmm. That's that. I know the way. Loot. Loot. And more loot. Also. Okay. Remains of the caravan camp. So, okay, we should do more pauses then, if more troops die when we do this. <laughs> By clutching a small chest, this for me protected his belongings from the west of all for the very end. No, yeah, that's nice of him. So, let's move on. Ah, on the other hand, we will stop for today, because... Because
because um, time is over. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.